crowd today? It was it was a really good, respectful crowd. I think I had you know heard some a lot of the same concerns that I heard at Red Deer, Opatoks, and Lethbridge, uh, but it was you know it was a, it was a different a different format. Those other ones were organized by department you know officials within agriculture and oh and s and and um and wcb well this one was organized by the, the, the mla uh filter brand the wild rose uh, mla here so it was it was a different a different tone uh but i uh, as in the other meetings i welcome their concerns and their questions is it too late for consultation Con it, it, it's not too late consultation will take place that was you know my big message today that the big part of the consultation we have the framework we have the skeleton of the legislation that's going to be passed and then going forward we'll work out the the, the very infinite uh, regulations in the code that need to be worked out with this industry as it is with every other industry there's going to be there's going to be different different aspects of it there, there it has to be right whether you have a cow calf operation or you're growing cucumbers or you can, you're raising bison or elk it's it's so diverse now, I mean, hearing so many people like against this, really, I think the biggest question is, what is the rush? You, you know, I, there's, there's, there is, I don't feel there is really no rush, right? This has been, you know, worked on since the, since the early 70s, being able to have this, and remove this exemption. This exemption has, you know, uh, all uh, different aspects of this have been removed from every other province in Canada. No province in Canada is looking at Alberta as a model for, for exempting uh, labor legislation for farm workers. So I think, you know, it's, it's, it's time that Alberta, you know, joins the rest of Canada and, you know, that knowing that there's differences in the provinces, but in, in removing these exemptions. But now, Last question. Oh, sorry, can I follow up on that quickly? Um, you did say today there's a lot of answers that you couldn't give details on. So, and you say there's no rush, but really why not wait till you've ironed out all the details and then kind of right. push forward? Well, you know, and, and the questions were, were sometimes got a little bit, a little bit into the weeds and into the, into the technicality of things, right? And this, the format of this meeting, we, I didn't have those technicians with me to be able to answer those very infinite questions. Questions are, you know, what if this happens? What if that happens? And it, not that they weren't good questions, they were really good. I didn't have the ability to answer those questions because well, my technical expertise does not lay up lie in WCV or OHNS. So, you know, perhaps in other, in other meetings, as they will be throughout the week, we will be able to answer those more specific questions because we will have those technical expertise. Okay, thanks guys.